This week we celebrate Trinity Sunday and as ever it's made me think of the, how difficult it is to actually explain um, what the Trinity is and, and thankfully I think the sensible conclusion is that it's almost impossible because of course any any thoughts about God are beyond our understanding really but whenever I do think of the Trinity and how important this feast is and what an amazing uh, revelation by Jesus it was to us I always think of relationship I think that's always the best thing way to think about the Trinity and it's the first thing that comes to my mind and it makes me think about my own relationships and hopefully it gives us space to think about our relationships, all our relationships with each other, especially I've been thinking as well this last year where we've suffered or we've we've undergone a lot of lockdowns and uh, a lot of isolation maybe for people as well. And I think it's just reminded us of the fact that we're not islands and that we're built to be in relationships, we're made to be in relationships and we have to relate to other people it's a natural way for us to exist and it's not uh, isolation is not natural for us so that's something that's been driven home and to, to know that it's in the very fabric of the person of the 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 being that created the universe in the first place reinforces that fact and encourages us as well to know yeah these yearnings we have to be in relationship it's there in God himself, because after all, we, we've been told God is love. And you can't be love if you've got nothing to love, if you're not in a relationship. And Jesus has revealed to us that God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So those three persons in one God tell us what it means to love and how the world works as well, because they are constantly loving each other. You know, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. This, I can't even think of an image or any words to describe it, but they are just loving each other for eternity. And they are self-emptying, they're emptying themselves in order for the other to flourish. That's what, what love is. So that's what we learn from the relationship of love in the Trinity, that we too, in our own relationships, have to empty ourselves and and sacrifice and, and put others first. So that's what we're called to do, to ask ourselves today on Trinity Sunday, to, to look at our relationships and to see how they are imitating or if they're not imitating the love that we find in the Holy Trinity. And then to encourage ourselves to know that we are placed in the centre of that loving relationship that the Trinity has and we're wrapped up in love and we're called to love because God is love and we are called to love too in our relationships.